Hey guys, what's up? I'm John Stinson, and I'm going to show you how to turn a mono track into a stereo track in under five minutes. Okay, here we go. All right, first of all, I have a mono guitar track that was recorded with a single small diaphragm condenser. Let's take a listen. Okay, now there's a multitude of reasons why you would want to turn this track into a stereo track. Um, obviously, if, uh, you know, during the verse you want it to be more monaural, during the chorus you want the stereo image to be wider, right? There's a multitude of reasons why you're going to change any track in any song to be more stereo at some points and less stereo or mono at others. A few things to note about what stereo means, too, right? First of all, uh, if you notice here, when you when this is played, right, the left and right channel here on the master fader, whenever a track is mono, both channels are moving the same. Even though there's one sound, both channels are. When things are in stereo, even though it's one sound, the left and right channel will move separately. Now, there's a common process where you could double the track, pan it hard left and right, and just offset it a little bit. Uh, the only problem is when you sum that, it has comb filtering, right? So that's not what we're looking for in this case. What we want to create is where, even though it's one sound, the left and right channel are moving dynamically. They're randomly moving left to right, right? So then when you sum it together, you're not going to have comb filtering or problems. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a... Um, an auto panner, so auto, right? And you're going to notice it's going to change this from a mono track to a stereo track um, when you add this plugin. Now I have a preset for this. All right, cool. And you're going to notice the width is 20 and the rate is 20. All we're trying to do is just have it slightly move from left to right. Let's take that and listen to that. Okay, cool. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a multi-mono compressor. Okay, and in this case I'm going to use Impact. By the way, too, all these plugins are all Pro Tools plugins, so there's nothing, you know, that's not, you know, within the Pro Tools system. The reason I'm using multi-mono is so that I can unlink the left and the right, and I have a preset for each side, both the left channel and the right channel. So I'm basically setting the settings different for the left and the right. And what this is going to do is, you know, with the threshold being different ratio, attack, release, it's going to make the compression do differently on the left-hand side from the right-hand side. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a sound filled plugin that's Pro Tools Air plugin called Stereo Width. And I have a preset for this as well, of course. Um, and in this particular case, I'm using the comb setting. Uh, I'm creating quite a delay, the most delay it has, um, and then 48% you know, width. Okay, let's listen to that. All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is add a stereo reverb, right? And keep in mind, the information that's going to the reverb is stereo, and the reverb itself is creating a stereo image, as you can see here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add a ping pong delay, and it's the same thing. It's being fed with stereo image, uh, stereo sound, but it also the left and right channel have some separate settings. So you're going to get a ping pong delay. Okay, this is the mono track. This is with auto pan. Okay, that's it. If you found this helpful, of course, uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, also, if you're interested in the school, go to trcoa.edu. And otherwise, we'll catch you guys on the flip side.